Hello guys, this is Rupan Raj and welcome back to Laravel Tutorials. In my previous video, I have talked about the important functions from Neloquent and uh, in this video, I am going to talk about events. Uh, there are two uh, types of events in Laravel. Uh, the one is a general event. You can uh, bind uh, events from the controllers and the other stuff. And in this video, I am going to talk about the events which is more related to the uh, Eloquent. So for example, uh, you update some data or you add new data to your table and uh, you want to make some uh, trigger function in the background. So whenever you change something on the model and the function should be triggered automatically. So we are binding an event for all the events. Uh, there, there are a couple of uh, event types and I'll show how to do that. So let's say here. Uh, I have uh, I mean I have some uh, examples from the previous tutorial and I'm going to use that so what we are going to do is we are going to add a new customer to our table and once the new customer is created let's say we need to send some email to the customer but actually I'm not going to ex uh, implement the email part instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a, a just print of statement that uh, uh, new customer is created and sending email to the new customer so for that, what I'm going to do is first, we need to create the uh, event file. You can use the PHP artisan command to create the customer, sorry, uh, to create the event. And here you can see uh, the command is PHP artisan make event and the name of the file. So I'm going to uh, create an event for the uh, create type of event. So I'm going to name the uh, class as a customer created. So I'm going to hit enter and it says event created successfully. So you can have the uh, file under the events folder. So here the file is uh, created and the file name is uh, uh, customer created. And it, you, will ho you will have uh, all the syntax by default if you create the file from, uh, uh, from the PHP artisan commands. Otherwise you have to write all these things by yourself. So here what you need to do is uh, you have to uh, give the uh, model name in the constructor and the model name is a uh, customer here and uh, in the customer model class we need to bind this event first so i'm going to bind the event here uh, for that what we need to do is we need to create a private variable called uh, i think a dispatch events dispatchers events and uh, we need to provide the uh, the type of uh, events which we need to uh, track so for that i'm going to use the first event is going to be the created event and the name should be created here always and you need to bind the uh, newly created event uh, class to this event so the class name is a uh, customer created event and you need to specify the class and you can add as many number of events you like for example there are i'll i'll show the couple of uh, uh, event types here uh, let's say created and uh, deleted and uh, you can uh, create a similar file here in the name of uh, customer deleted so whenever you delete some customer you can uh, write some logic uh, uh, in the file to get triggered but I'm not going to uh, do this I'll just uh, show the types of uh, events here and the next type is uh, saved and uh, the next type is uh, I think it's a uh, mm, restore and we have created deleted uh, saved restored and uh, there is one more uh, event i think it's updated so whenever you update something uh, you can uh, trigger this event but i'm going to show the demo with uh, only the customer created event let's say i'm going to remove all these things and i have this here and i need to uh, import the customer created here and it's under app and uh, events and uh, customer created So now we need to uh, give this uh, model here and we need to import the model as well. And I'm going to import it now. App customers, sorry, customer. And uh, here what I'm going to do is I'm going to just have a print statement 
just uh, say that uh, uh, new customer is created new customer is created and uh, sending mail to customer but actually here we are not sending the mail but i'm just uh, showing how you can implement so here you can write your uh, logic in the constructor so that whenever there is a new customer created it will call this class and uh, the code which you have written here in the constructor it will be executed so i'm going to show uh, show the demo here now i'm going to create a new customer called uh, maybe uh, relax say and the address may be uk and the mobile number some random number random age and the type is going to one now i'm going to sh submit and it says a uh, customer access level to app customer so it says mm, uh, this is right i think customer customer what it says it says protected okay here it should be protected not private sorry so once you change this uh, you can uh, store some value here and submit and you can see here you save the customer and uh, once you save the new customer this block of code is triggered automatically so you can uh, bind the events like this and uh, let's say here i mean before i have showed list of uh, events and let's say you have uh, five different events and you are going to uh, bind all the five different types of events for this model and here let's say uh, you have to create e one class for one uh, event separately so it will be a pain if you have uh, five different uh, files for five different events so what you could do is you can use the observers here and uh, i'll show how to create the observer so for that uh, there is no php artisan command to create observers but we uh, and uh, by default there will be no folder called observers in your app directory you have to create this observers folder by yourself and uh, and uh, the file also you have to create this uh, uh, observer file that is no php artisan command and uh, actually i have created this file before you can uh, create uh, here because i'm going to create a observer file i mean observer for customer model so i have uh, uh, you, i mean i have used this class name customer observer and i'm going to uh, import uh, the app uh, the customer model so here what i have to do is i have to create the functions for all the events but now i'm going to create the function for uh, only the created event and uh, you have to use the same name as the event name for example this function name is uh, going to represent the created event and uh, let's say uh, if you want to bind an event for deleter uh, delete event and you can uh, say deleted so you have to create this function names and you can uh, refer the laravel documentation for the function names and now i'm going to use only the created function and here i'll get the customer object and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to do the same thing which i did before in the let's see where it is uh, here customer observer and i'm going to just print the same thing a uh, new customer is created and sending mail to the customer and uh, here you don't need to use this uh, dispatches events variable now because you are going to bind this observer in the app service provider so what you need to do is you have to bind uh the new observer in your app service provider so you can uh, check for the file name app service provider and in the boot function you have to uh, bind uh, the observer to your model so our model is customer and uh, i need to say that observe with the function customer observer and i need to give this class and uh, one more thing i i need to do i need to import uh, i need to import this use uh, i'll just copy no app i think uh, the folder name is uh, observer i'll check it here the folder name is observers and uh, the file name is going to be customer observer i need to provide this here so that it will uh, get the file from this folder 
and I have registered the customer observer in the boot function and uh, I have written the logic here so whenever new new customer create this function will get execute and now we will see a demo and uh, I'll just modify this a little bit submit so the error is we are not importing it properly I think so I need to import the customer model also so app customer so I'm going to refresh the page again I think now it will not work because the data is already created so I need to change this and it says uh, yeah I'm doing this mistake again and again we need to specify the function and uh, here it is and I'm going to use this keyword function and uh, sorry sorry for the mistakes guys and then I'll just finish this out so now you can see here new customer is created and sending mail to the customer so you can have a different class a single class for uh, observing all the events for a single model so here this observer is meant for customer model and you can uh, create multiple observer files and uh, you can uh, bind those observer to your models using the observe function and uh, yeah, that's all for this video guys i have explained what is events and how you can uh, register the events in customer and uh, i mean like this and i have also shown how to use customer observer to uh, bind uh, multiple events from the single file and uh, yeah that's all guys and if you like this video you can uh, give a thumbs up and you can do subscribe to my channel and i'll i'll come up with a new video with some new topic about laravel in my next video and uh, thanks for watching this video guys. Bye-bye.